What's up guys, welcome back. Today is my last anatomy test of the semester. Also, you might notice I have a little mustache because I'm doing No Shave November, so I don't like how it looks, but I'm just gonna push through this phase. Let me know in the comments if you guys like the mustache. I was gonna grow like everything, but like this all looks so gross. I think that this looks gross too, but you guys like it? Yeah. Join the fire department? It looks great. Yeah. Okay. It gives you another dimension. Does Ben like it? Yeah, does I don't like it. It's still developing. Keep it. Yeah, it's only day six. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Super productive morning because I didn't have any required classes, so actually got to get some good studying done. Now, back at school, and I have a three hour ethics session required. It's gonna be fun, I'm gonna learn a bunch about ethics. a super big city but whenever I'm driving home at like five o'clock the traffic is honestly kind of rough just got back home and I'm sure you can guess what I'm gonna do we're gonna study what are we gonna study the coagulation cascade this is one of those things that is just brute memorization so it's not my favorite thing to memorize but it needs to be done so let's do it and do the associated Anki cards. By the way, people have been asking, where do I get my Anki cards? Do I make them? No, I do not make my own cards. I get them from AnkiHub.com. Put a link in the description. These flashcards are pre-made and they're amazing. I make some cards for things I need to know specifically for my class. Most of it is just from AnkiHub.com. I'll be making an Anki video probably next week. Okay, let's get to it. Oh my gosh, dude. Thromboplastin. Antithrombin inactivates thrombin. Partial thromboplastin time. Alpha 2 antiplasmin, I don't even know what that means. So what we're gonna do is go over here. So protein C inactivates factor 5A and 8A. Another day, another dollar. Actually, I did the math, and based on how much I pay for tuition, I basically have to pay $300 every day that I enter this school. If you divide how much I pay for tuition by how many days I spend here a year, 300 bucks down the drain. So I basically just spent the whole day studying, not really uh, eventful of a day. I didn't have any required classes today, so I just stayed at home, went to the coffee shop. What have I been studying? 
can't show my email. Platelet activation, coagulation, coagulopathies. Yeah, it's interesting stuff. I'm also dog sitting my favorite dog in the world. So you guys will see him when I go over there. Hey, you missed me. <laughs> Hi, are you hungry? So somebody commented on my video. Did you take a gap year? If so, what did you do? And do you recommend gap years? So I took one gap year, meaning I graduated from university, applied to medical school, and just basically took a year off from school. I never wanted to take a gap year. I was one of those people who always wanted to go straight from undergrad to med school. I didn't want to waste my time. I would later find out that it's not a waste of time. Every single year, the average age of a medical school first year is increasing. I think the average age in my class is like 25 or 26. So you might be thinking, why did I take a gap year if I didn't want to? Once I started studying for the MCAT, volunteering, and also finishing up my last year in college, I really kind of realized that I wouldn't be as competitive as I wanted to be. So it was kind of a reluctant decision, but I knew that it's better for me to put my best application forward than to apply with this application that is not really as good as it could be. So what did I do? I worked in a clinical job in an orthopedic surgery clinic as a surgery scheduler and receptionist. And did a little bit of patient care as well. And I also got to like enjoy life with my friends and family. So the gap year was fun for sure. If I could go back, I probably still wouldn't have taken the gap year, but it was like a good time. And I definitely think that I felt kind of recharged after taking a whole year off from school once I got into medical school. But yeah, there's no shame in taking gap years. You're applying next spring. So yeah, if you have to take a gap year, it's okay. Anyways, hopefully that helps, Nicole. Thanks for the comment. If you have a comment, drop it down below. I think I'm gonna start answering a comment every vlog. So much work to be done. Thinking back to this day in Hawaii, trying to find that inner peace right there. <laughs> this looks like this is my house. It is not my house, but I wish it was. I can act like it's my house. It is rained like every day for like, 10 days straight. Pretty soon it'll be snow. Wow, I look so pale. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here because I have a ton of editing to do. If you like the video and you wanna support my channel, the biggest thing that you could do is like and subscribe. We're currently growing like crazy. Just hit 3,000 subscribers earlier this week. Thank you all for supporting my channel. It truly means so much to me that people want to see what I'm doing, follow me along my journey. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. That's it for this video. Like and subscribe, follow my Instagram. Keep on chasing your dreams. Keep on doing Anki until your lungs blacken. Have an amazing week, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Goodbye.